In this video, I'm going to try to give an intuitive answer as to why we flip the inequality sign when we divide or multiply by a negative number. Let's start off with a real world example. Let's say you have a friend that's taller than you, and let's say he is 180 centimeters, he or she, and let's say you are 170 centimeters. You could represent this as an inequality. You could say your friend's height is greater than your height, or 180 is greater than 170. All fine there, no problem so far. Then let's say you went for a walk, you stood by a nice clear lake and you saw your reflections in the water. And let's say you're thinking mathematically at the time and you imagine a line drawn at your feet and you call that zero. Then you could measure your reflections with negative numbers. So you could say your friend is negative 180 centimeters or his reflection has a length of negative 180 centimeters and your reflection has a length of negative 170 centimeters. How could you represent those reflections as an inequality? Well, you can't say negative 180 is greater than negative 170. That doesn't make any sense. That is wrong. What you need to realize here is that when you're using a negative scale, the less than symbol represents greater absolute value. So even though clearly in this example, his reflection has a greater length than yours, when we represent that on a negative scale, the number we give to it, negative 180, is less than negative 170. So the correct inequality here is negative 180 is less than negative 170. So when we're mixing negative numbers with real world examples, the less than symbol actually represents a greater magnitude or absolute value. So this means that the inequality symbol needs to be flipped to indicate distance from zero or absolute value. Another example is x squared greater than nine. So what could x be here? Well, we know the absolute value of x needs to be greater than three. So for example, if x equals four, x squared is 16, which is greater than nine. So when we're using a positive scale, x is greater than three, but if we use a negative scale, we need to use a less than symbol. So x is less than negative three. Again, when using a negative scale, less than means a greater absolute value. For me, this is really just a problem of language and definitions, because when we see that symbol, we think less than, but when it involves negative values, we need to think greater than, which is a confusing statement to make. And then we can look at the classic example uh, where you have one greater than zero, you can divide by negative one. So then you get negative one greater than zero, which is clearly wrong. And then you clearly need to flip the inequality to say negative one is less than zero. But this is how I understand it, at least when you're thinking of negative numbers, less than does not really mean less than, it means a greater absolute value. I hope that helped you with your understanding of this concept. Thanks for watching.